Hi guys and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is a little olive nymph based on the ever popular dial back. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H200 barbless hook. This one's at size 12. It's on a heavy wire and it's in black nickel. Now the thread I'm going to be using today and which is also going to be my body is some Semplify Nano Silk. It's at 6 aught or 100 D and as you can see it's yellow. Now I described this as an olive nymph and when this is wet it does look olive in the water. Now I'm not going to add any super glue or wax because I want the thread to really show through on this one so I'm just going to cast it straight on to the hook and because the body's so slim, it tends not to rotate. So I'm going to remove my waist. Now I've got a couple of turns on. And the first thing I want to do is add my tailing. I've simply got a, an old cock, what's left of a cock cape actually. It's very small. And uh, I've got a feather I've been working with here. And I want to take approximately a centimetre worth of fibres. I'm just going to pull them down 90 degrees from the stem, pull them away and then I can dress that up to my fly. Now I want the whole length of the shank of the hook. Once I've seen the length I want, I'm going to transfer it over to my left hand and then catch it in like so. Now I've not wrapped down on that tightly so if I want to adjust the length I can simply pull it a little bit and I'm going to bring my thread back to approximately where a barb would be on a barbed hook. Now this fly, um, it's kind of changed slightly over the years. I used to use uni thread, the yellow uni thread, but the nano silk, I like the colour and I get an even thinner profile with this. So that's why I've started to use that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is tie in a silver wire ribbon. I'm using some uh, 004 millimeters silver wire. It's bright silver and it's very thin. So I want to get it the entire length of the body. I'm going to catch it on my side just with a couple of turns and I'm going to leave that be. You might see the silver wire hanging down below the shank there. Now the next thing I want to put in is some hand strip peacock quill. Now this one from Troutline has been dyed a chartreuse colour. It's very vibrant. Uh, the original pattern was just ordinary strip peacock herald, but I've found that this is gives a much more pleasing effect. So what I'm going to do is take away the thinnest part. I want to get that nice banding in as much as possible and I'm going to catch that in with just another turn there. I want to try and keep my body nice and even. If anything, I would like a taper from the front to the back. But I'd like to keep this fly as thin as possible really. So the less thread wraps I've got on, the better I'm liking it. Now Bob Barden uh, of Buell fame was always a big fan of very thinly dressed and shortly dressed nymphs and uh, this fly served me particularly well at Rutland around uh, May beginning of June it worked really well so I'm looking all over my bench for my hackle pliers and I'm just going to catch the end of the strip peacock herald. Now I suppose there's, there's easier ways of doing this but you do get a slightly different effect. So it depends on what you want to do, you know I could put the peacock herald on and then coat it with UV resin or as I'm going to do on this occasion I'm going to protect the strip peacock herald with my silver wire. And I'll bring that up. 
all the way up to the head and as it gets near the top I can bring my thread around and catch in that strip peacock herald. Now you've always got to be careful with strip peacock herald it's got a tendency to break away uh, and not when you mean it to like I've just done there. So next then to protect the strip peacock herald I'm going to bring my silver wire in the opposite direction that I took the strip peacock herald try not to catch the point of the hook like I just did because the wire is so thin that sometimes it will just give way and I'll bring that all the way up and you get a very pleasing effect on the body a couple of turns to hold that in a couple of turns in front and then I'm able to keep tension on my thread and twist away my wire that's looking pretty decent okay as per a dial back I'm going to grab a similar amount of material from my cock hackle and I'm going to pull that away from the stem now I like to invert my vise when I'm doing this and what I want to do is have it about the same length as the body like so so once I've got it where I want it I can bring my nano silk down then I like to get a turn in front of the hackle then I can come in and carefully take away the excess bring your vice back around and now you can, originally I used to use jungle cock cheeks for this but what I've started to do more recently and it seems to be just as effective as I've been using some of uh, Comp Candy's uh, Goose Biots and this one's Flow Yellow again I say Flow Yellow but it's been in the water it looks very very greenish or olive should I say so with the Biots to get the effect I want I'm going to come in with my scissors cut a slant turn it the other way and just take the point off so I get this effect um, which works pretty well now I don't want a, a lot of cheek shown but just enough to give it that impression of wing buds just going to spin my thread to make sure I get it nice and thin the nano silks do tend to unspin and flatten out just like a UTC thread now I've already prepared the other cheek for your side and I'm going to capture that in so it's the same length as the cheek on my side so I'll just get a couple of turns to hold that into place just check your side yeah it's looking okay and then I'm really putting quite a bit of pressure on it may not seem it onto the hook now once I've got pressure on keep the tension on the thread then grab separately I would advise your goose biots sorry I forgot what they were called there uh, and just take them away then build a reasonably large head at the front there and sorry I can't seem to find any tools today grab your quick finish tool and just finish that off now you can use varnish super glue whatever your poison is I'm going to just use some UV resin now the, the label's gone from this bottle a uh, long time ago but it's simply Solaris UV bone dry see if you're asking the question and the reason I like it so much is this tiny little brush that comes with the applicator brush it's just so useful I don't understand why uh, more companies aren't providing a, a very small applicator brush like that for the resins 
because it just makes life a lot simpler. And uh, how I would fish this fly is with a team of nymphs. Uh, not usually on the point, I would have it as one of the, the middle or the top droppers. I've also fished it to great effect under a bun uh, with two of these and a heavier buzzer on the point and it'll catch you an awful lot of fish. Thanks very much for watching the video, I hope you got something out of it and if you're enjoying what I'm doing please don't forget to give the video a like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.